Retrological here, and today I'm back with another quick build. So I'm going to be doing the RB Power 240SX. Another 240, I know. But I have the V8 one, and I have a stock motor, which is the KA, which is very stupid in this game. I will do probably a video on both of those in the future too, just so I can have a variation because I love these cars. Same thing with the Sylvias. I love S chassis. So. I will most likely have one of every single fucking Sylvia ever. And every 240 build I can do. I'll probably do all the S15s. Sadly, no 14s, because, you know, Forza. Whatever. So, beginners. Um, this car, you need to use it. Simple as that. Light. Easy to get power in. Just throw a V8 in it, leave it stock, and you have an overpowering monster. I'm not even joking, a stock. V8 can make this thing work just as good as a built SR. So, whatever your power plan is for this car, you can make it work. It is 2,600 pounds, which I believe is full weight reduction, full cage, at 579 horsepower. I didn't want to go over 600 with this car because you really don't even need it. You can you can use 400 horsepower and be perfectly fine. It all depends on your driving styles. Um, I just chose to have a little bit more power for this so I can throw it around these sections a bit more because uh, a little bit of power isn't working on the sections that I run, which if you guys have noticed, I stay in the same area. Um, short to medium, very good. Long sections, not the best, obviously. Add another maybe 50 horsepower, push it about 650 around there. You can get these long corners without any issues. And, uh, this car is just, it looks great. I'm a huge fan of Nissan. I love any Nissan product there is. Just, I love Nissans. I love the engines. I don't know why I spun there. I just, these cars are great. They look good, they feel good, they're awesome. These cars, so cheap. Depending on where you're getting them from, of course, there's also people who at drift tax and these cars are 10 15,000 to them but realistically you can get one of these for two grand without really many issues it's uh, generalized as a drift missile for the people out there who buy a car just to beat the hell out of it That's, this is their favorite car to do it I guess because it's cheap and easy and really good and nice but uh, yeah, I'm going to make sure this is uploaded for you guys to try out. Just search uh, Metrological in the storefront and you'll find it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day.